From the beginning, the modules were mixed with some all-male modules and some male and female mixed modules led by both male and female field coordinators. And now we've created three all-female modules which have been integrated into the 20-day sessions. We capture the same things that the all-male or mixed modules do, fireline leadership, communication skills, and working on prescribed fire qualifications. The Fire Leadership for Women modules provide a unique opportunity to create a network of true peers as women in a male-dominated field. Most of us have been trained to be leaders by men. It turns out it is different for women to lead in a world of men. We can't carry ourselves the same way, or the leadership comes across as disingenuous or clunky if we try. These modules at PFTC provide an opportunity for us to lead and be led by women and see the nuances and styles that work for women. It empowers women to be more effective, more genuine, and gives us a choice in how to best manage our command presence as we continue to pursue long-term careers in wildland fire management. Coming here and being like-minded with other women that are in a leadership position has been an opportunity for me to realize why it's so important for the women's module to exist. I tend to dive in head first, whether or not I hit the bottom of the pool or kind of just float to the top. I, like you said, I get fully engaged. I am a go-getter, always have been, and being here allows me to kind of finesse my tactics and my leadership styles and realize what I need to do to grow internally and also to help build up my fellow firefighters. You don't have a whole lot of frame of reference for if your style is functioning or not based on gender or based on just your own personal leadership. So it's really nice to have some sounding boards of what other women's leadership styles look like and to see them function or not function and kind of be able to get a better uh, baseline basically for adjusting your own strategies. The style of burning is a lot different and being thrown together with seven completely new people is a really good learning experience and a really good, it gives you a lot of feedback on how you can build that kind of crew cohesion on your home unit, which is really important. You have to have that kind of thing. Um, so I, I would say do it. It's influenced my leadership making decisions just by being able to see how other women work in fire as well. Hearing their backgrounds, where they came from, um, it's shown me what I can do to help better the experience for others. I guess just getting it over it on our own, we ended up talking about each situation as they came up, which is normally not a thing you do in fire. Um, normally. You're not really encouraged to talk about how things made you feel or what the idea was behind it and how to do it better next time. Usually it's, okay, that happened, let's get over it. And in this module particularly, we've talked about situations as they've come up and how they've affected us. Different people need different leadership styles and it's okay to be a different leader to different people. Well, before we could implement a prescribed fire, we had um, team building exercises, which has allowed me to be open about my weaknesses. So that way I can, sh I can draw from that and build on it and just be amongst my peers to be able to be vulnerable and open. So with that, it has allowed me to better be a better communicator um, which will help me in the long run with being able to be in a leadership role. To be accepting of each other, whether it be male or female, and to know that we all carry different skills and different strengths and different weaknesses. Participating in the women's leadership module has allowed me to receive a lot of good feedback for how I approach leadership. And it's good direct. We have had several discussions on the leadership techniques and getting that feedback. So it's excellent to be able to get that where you don't always get that in a day-to-day -day module.
I was interested in a, a challenge for myself as well. You know, I wanted to come down and learn the logistical background, working with the cooperators. But then when she gave me the what they're trying to do with this program, uh, I figured that'd be a really good challenge for me and to develop myself as a leader and to be a good example back home, you know, and be able to spread this spread the message that we're trying to do here is build strong, confident women in leadership roles within whatever agency. It's interagency. It's not just Forest Service or BLM. And so it was, I've learned quite a bit about myself and about how to interact uh, with, with other women in, in FIRE and how to try to build those strong women leaders of the future. I know even as a student, you know, home units, they do have to cover, cover part of the bill. And by talking to past students, past participants, even past coordinators, be able to paint that picture of what you as a student are gonna be able to learn down at PFTC and how that's gonna make you better at their home unit. And it's gonna help the whole program. It's not just gonna help the individual. It's gonna, it's gonna help your home unit when you go back through. You're gonna have so many more slides. You're gonna be able to teach when you get back home and mentor other people. And I would, I would say do it. It's a, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's a great, great training experience. And uh, I think everybody should have a, a chance to try to come down to the Southeast and do some burning down here. When we first start talking to the women who come into this program, a lot of talk about confidence comes up. People are worried about their confidence, their command presence, their ability to lead people. And sometimes that's a very founded thing because they are nervous in front of groups or they haven't had the opportunity to lead without intervention, um, unnecessary intervention at some points. But sometimes it's completely unfounded. These women are rock stars. They have amazing command presence and they are very confident and competent at the same time. They just have not had the opportunity to put that on and to try that as effectively as we're giving them the opportunity here at PFTC. So I hope, if nothing else, that they are able to look at themselves more honestly and be able to say, you know, I am good at this. This is awesome. I love this and I'm effective. Um, but there's also times when they need to say, you know what, I am proud of who I am as an individual and I need to let that shine through a little more. I need to be me. And most of us have been trained to be leaders by male, male employees. And it's different because they just carry themselves differently. I can't thump my chest and be a six foot two guy because I'm a five foot eight smaller lady. That's not gonna work for me if I try to lead like that. But until I've seen women leading, I don't know what sort of options I might have to try on as other tools. And these girls are getting the chance to watch women lead women in different ways. And they're finding those little nuances to help them be effective. So it's not reverse discrimination at all. It's um, actually, empowerment to be able to say here these are all the tools that you might need in your box which one today in this situation might you need as a leader to be effective